Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is Wednesday the 20th of May, we have a load of new mods and in my opinion we have a couple of game changers. Definition being, if it changes the way you play the game or it adds something into the game that we haven't come across before. On console more specifically than PC, because obviously PC does have a few different things that we don't have, but we do have some today. Let's start off with updates. We've got an update to the Lemken Diamond 12 Plough by Matthew FS and TL TCL98. We've got an update to the Small Cow Shed with Pasture by Driver300. An update to the Cow Pasture by Richie F. And an update to the Galignani 5690 S3 by Game Master. That's important, because we're going to have a look at that in a little while. Um, also an update to the Colonia 1990 map by Rajo G Play. Um, that has an update. We do have a new Seasons Geo for Ischia Farm in Italy. That's because the Ischia map also has dropped today. I will be doing a map tour on that, but that may not post till tomorrow morning. Maybe. So, first of all, oh, there's also another mod map. Dark Forest uh, by Mr. T-Bone39, Matt uh, Brennan, where are we, and Late Night with Bull. Um, so, yeah, quite a few today but starting off we have got to the Fent former pack um, that's in front of us here this is a selection of wind rowers um, they are Fent coloured in nature um, I'm, I'm gonna say it again I know people didn't like it last time I said it but they are reskins of the original ones we've got in game but they are just in the Fent colours so if you fancy uh, Fent for a change this you can maybe go with this is by virtual farming 2k19 we've got the smaller version here um, this one is the 351 ds 4.6 meter we've got the uh, 10065 pro 9.3 meter and then we've got the 14055 pro uh, 14.8 meter, which kind of like I say, kind of match up to what we've got already, just in the faint colours. Uh, this one, I think, this does the same thing with the, the one we've got already, but I thought I'd show it anyway. So when we unfold it, it takes the tines. Puts them out, puts the sideboard out. So when you want to pack it away, you do that again. It packs the tines away at the front on the rack. And then we turn it on and drop it down. And away we go. And it windrows. As you might imagine. Um, these you'll find. Under windrowers. He says. There we go. So the standard in-game versions are this. The top 462 the GA9531 and the Hibiscus. Um, so if we go a little bit further along, you've got the former 351DS, the former 10065 and the former 14055 Pro uh, pretty much matching up. There are no options available. You get what you get because they are Fent in brand and they are windrowers. Very nice indeed. Uh, moving on, I will take the tractor actually. But before I use the tractor, we're going to move on to these. This is the Hay Shed Pack. This is by TPF and Next Gen Mapping. There are three in this pack. Lots of detail in the cross member and structure of the roof and stuff up here. I mean, really detailed. Nice colours. It kind of stands out a little bit from ones we've had before with the white and the red. The lighting, I believe, is automatic. I think it's automatic. I can't find a light switch anywhere. Automatic outside LED lights and seasons ready, it does say. So you should have snow mask and you shouldn't get any rain and things coming through these. Um, like I say, there are three in this pack. These two almost at the same size. That one's a bit narrower and shorter. That's a bit wider and much longer. That does appear lower as well, I think. Look in the front of that. It's a bit deceptive because of the angle of it. And this one's the smallest of the three. Um, but yeah, I mean, nice sheds. The clip in here, that's not the mod, that's me. I placed them down and then put put the grass down between them and it just overlapped a little bit. So please don't look at that and think, oh, you know, the mod's not very good, this clipping. It's got a nice base that runs around the edge like that. Um, I just clipped it with the grass, so apologies there. But these you'll find in placeables, under sheds, 
So we've got the Lizard 25 by 50 hay shed for 20 grand. Uh, these will run you two slots, then three slots, then three slots. We've then got the 49 by 100, and then we've got the 35 by 70. So that big wide lower one is the 60 grand one. I think that's the narrow one on the end, the small one that I was just looking at. I placed that one first, then that one, then the slightly longer one there. Um, placing, as per usual, we're placing anything that's of a fairly large size. My advice would be to level the ground first, but again, it's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. Um, but yeah, they're nice. Not bad at all. Sorry if I appear to be rattling through. I'm trying to get everything done because we do have quite a few. Um, so, moving on from that, we've got this. This is the Lizard Z173 by Danio Mods and Kubos. Uh, this is a rear side mower. But weirdly, there's some strange options on this as well. Like this, completely like kind of naked, open, with the belt drive all visible, all the workings there, even without the side skirts around the actual mower itself, if you're feeling particularly, you know, dangerous and you fancy going for it. Or you can have this version here that's got the side skirts and various different bobs. Now some are different, different colour configurations to go with this. Um, you'll find this under mowers. It's quite a small one, I think. It's only 1.7, I think it is. 1.6. 1.6 metre mower. Um, this will use three slots, so not too heavy on the slot count. This is by... Hang on, I want to get this right. No, five slots, sorry. Danio Mods and Kubos, whoever said that, sorry. Um, options available, then. We've got the design colour and stuff you can't tell because that's for the add-on bit. So what we'll do is the add-on bits first... So you can have covers, standard, like that. You can have a belt cover, which just puts that on there straight away. Drums cover, which puts that plate on the top to protect the drums. Both covers, or all covers, which puts the tar uh, sorry, the tarpaulin on. And they can have all covers, which kind of puts everything in together. Weirdly, on the attacher type, it says old attacher type, the new attacher joint, and new attacher joint too. Nothing changed when I moved those, so... I tried two different ones and I couldn't see any difference with that in all honesty. Um, but with all those things attached now, if I go back up to the colours, main colour will change uh, all that section on there. Um, and if we go across one to design colour, let's say go for green, that ch changes the belt cover and a little bit on the other side there. So those are your colour options on that. As far as operation goes of this, what I do like as well, this is another one that's got, um, when you do hook it up and move it around, the actual side tarpaulin swings. I, I do like that when you get that kind of animation on there. It's a little detail, it's very small, it's a minor thing, but I, I like it as an option. I think it's really cool. Um, but anyway, to unfold, we do that. Brings it out to the side, and you drop it down, and away you go. But what I will do is that and then that and I'll just show it with this one here so flip it out like so turn it on drop it down and away you go so if you want that kind of naked open version like that that we can see all the workings and gubbins. That's a technical term, by the way, gubbins. Um, you can do that if you wish. And then it folds it all the way, puts the PTO away and the connector and the rest of it. And then we can drop it off again. So there we go. That's by Danio Mods and Kubos. Uh, moving on from that, we have got... Where shall I go next? We've got this. Um, this is the Lizard uh, Z525. This is by QWERTY and Pushcap. Uh, this is a tedder. It's a small one, as you can probably tell. It's a tiny one. Can I actually pick that up? I can. <laughs> so you can move it around, place it wherever you want. I wasn't sure about that, actually. It is very small, so it's going to be um, a small type field operation type thing. Um, this you'll find under tedders. And right at the very end, 
the Z525. It's only a grand, 2.7 meter, and requires 34 horsepower. So again, if you've got tiny, tiny tractors, small operation, you're just getting going, or you're just running a more kind of classic pack type thing, uh, this may well be the one for you. Options available, we can change the main color to variations on what's there. But yeah, nice little mod that. I like the belt configuration as well, so it turns on the kind of belts are rotating and yeah, it's cool. Anywho, moving on, we have got this. Um, this is the Lizard GC4M Cedar. This is by Nico Do 55. Um, it's fairly plain. There's there's a lot of detail, but I think it's deceptive because one section is all green and the other section is all orange. There's no kind of separate detailing for metallic bits or anything. It's like the whole thing has been like painted, powder coated. So it kind of deceptively looks a bit plain, but there is a lot of detail in here. A lot going on. It's not very big, as you might gather. It's the GC4M. It's a four meter cedar. You can have it option with um, ridge markers. Mine went blank then. Ridge markers, yay or nay, if you want to go with that as an option. Uh, this you will find under cedars. There we go. Thirteen grand. Um, this will only use. Sorry, look at my piece of paper. Three slots, only three slots on this one. Options available, like I say, you can have it without ridge markers or with ridge markers, like so. 70 horsepower required to pull it. Uh, capacity is only 1,000 litre tank. I think it only does seeding though, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't do fertilising as well, just seeding, but 1,000 litre tank. Um, not too bad at all. Uh, have I missed anything from my front row? I don't think so. Moving backwards through my rows, we come to this. This is the Lizard Vibro Crop. This is by Lorenzos or Lorenzos. I'm, never, I'm not quite sure, but I think Lorenzos. Um, this is a weeder. Um, and the detail on this, wow. Um, it does say in the mod hub on this one, on the website, uh, with combination of vibrating S tines and rolling shields enables you to work maximum area possible between rows of crops as well as maintaining a high working speed so you kind of crops should run between here and these are the rows in between so that drags and keeps the weeds out um, whilst not causing any problems to your crop as you go down is the theory behind that um, this within this pack has three different widths on it I think it's got 3.7 is it 4.7 or 6.7 we'll have a quick check this one's the 6.7 um, I might just go and grab a tractor actually, but um, this you'll find under weeders. Now manual weeding, um, because the weeding can be a little bit finicky here and there, manual weeding only works when weeds are in their infancy, the first growth stage of weeds. If they go beyond that and they become adult weeds, then you're going to need herbicide or something like that to get rid of them. Um, but there is 3.7, 4.7 and 6.7 metre. These were seven slots each, so depending on what you go for, um, that one in the middle, sorry, that one in the end says one because I've already got one at seven slots. Um, options available? There are none. You get what you get, you get the colour you get. Solid bit of kit, looks like to me. But I will just go and grab a tractor. Bear with me one second. So, hook up to it and folds up like so. So, transport isn't too much of a problem. Nice smooth animation, nice fold on that. There's no turn on or off, you drop it down, it's a weeder, so you just drop it down onto the ground, and when you've got weeds in the ground, off you go, and everything runs very smoothly. It's nice that. Nice bit of kit. Um, so that's the Lizard Vibro Crop Weeder, that's by Lorenzo's, Lorenzos. Sorry if I have said that wrong, I do, do apologise. Whoa! That's something worth bearing in mind. That might well be better off being unloaded. Let's drop that down again. And then disconnect. Ooh. No, it doesn't like that at all. Okay, well that's something worth... Uh, there you go. Bit of consumer research for you there. Um, if you're going to unload it, probably better off doing it unfolded than folded. Because when I do that, it's no problem at all. Hmm, there you go. Worth noting. Uh, moving on. 
this is the first of what I consider to be a site game changer. Now I know a lot of people have been doing this already with another method, but this is the first time we've had it as a kind of more of a a, a set mod, I think is the best way of putting it. I'm not putting that particularly well. Um, this is by Black Sheep Modding. Um, this is the Lizard Trex 6. This is the trailer here. It's like a little low loader. It's only a small one, but it is designed for taking things like pallets and crops and things like that. But those awkward transport trailers, and you might have headers and various different things, small tractors, small vehicles, you're not going to get anything massive on this. Um, but you can drive it straight on, then the thing lifts up and away you go. It does have straps all the way across it, um, which is all very handy. That's not the game changing part of it. We had one of these a little bit like this. I'm trying to think, it began with an O. What was it called on FS17? No, it's gone, doesn't matter. Um, what's the game changing bit of these? Um, these are the lizard belt supports. Now what a lot of people do when they put stuff onto trailers to strap them down because obviously sometimes the locking scripts don't work particularly well and they'll put a log across the top. So you put a log over your vehicle then the strap will go over the log and kind of hold your vehicle down. Which means you've got to go and cut logs down and you know, it's no big deal but this is designed specifically for that. So a trailer that's got belts on doesn't matter, it doesn't have to work necessarily with this one. You buy these, you pick them up put it on top of your vehicle or cedar or trailer or whatever it is you're trying to transport then the belts strap over the top of that so what I will do very quickly is I'm not, I've got to stop saying very quickly the problem is when there's a lot of mods you can't get through them very quickly at all anyway it just takes a long time doesn't it just by the very nature of the fact there are quite a few to get through so what we'll do is hook up now this for, I'm only using this as an example simply because it's six meter wide cedar which doesn't fold up so I've found on some maps, especially narrow lanes and things like that, it's quite difficult to transport. Um, it can be a bit of a pain, in all honesty. And getting through narrow gates and long roads. Now obviously the, the spar does stick out a little bit there, but don't worry too much about that. It's more about the, the proof of concept. So um, what you do then is you grab your belt support. You can rotate these around like anything else that you can hold. You put your belt support on like that and it will drop into this a little bit. Depends what you're using. But then if I do that, it secures over that belt support. You can just kind of see it there. So it straps over that belt support and it holds this in place. So whereas normally without the belt support, if I take the belt support, actually if I do one of these, like that and like that, nothing. So I've put my cedar on here and just undoing and doing up the straps again, nothing happens. So that in essence won't stay on there. That belt support is designed specifically for the belts to strap over. Now obviously at the moment there's a bit of cropping and clipping and there are so many mods available. You're going to get that on certain ones. It depends what you're going to use. So if I drop that in place, get that one there, turn it off and turn it back on again. It now clips over and your load is secured down. Now I know there are, um, there's the um, belt mod, uh, is it strap mod? Oh, something like that. Um, we've got already, but that only works on certain implements and certain things within that pack. Whereas this, fairly cheaply, will work with anything. And it saves you having to get logs and those kind of things. I think that's a big thing. I Personally, I think that's really, really cool. Really, really helpful and an incredibly useful thing to have. Um, the trailer itself, I hook up. Raise it up. And away we go. Off to our field, wherever we want to go. Even with that spar sticking out, it's not six metres. So we can get to and from and that kind of thing. You know, there are other cedars and various different things. It doesn't have to be this one in particular, but... I like that. That's by Black Sheet Modding. We'll have a look at that, the price and stuff in a minute. So when you get where you want to go, L1, circle, drop it down. And away you go. Very cool. You will find the trailer itself uh, under low loaders. Like I say, it's not particularly big, but that's not the, the point really, I personally don't think. 10 grand, um, and it will use four slots, which is absolutely fantastic. Options available, we can change the main color to anything like that. Uh, rim color, we can then change as well, like so. Uh, and then on the back you can have warning triangle yes or no so where we've changed the rim color on the back there where it says 25 for the speed we can have a warning triangle over that if you want a warning triangle if you want to be extra cautious if that's what you want to go for now the actual um supports for this the belt supports you'll find under miscellaneous 
So right at the very end, belt support, 200 each. They're only one slot each anyway, so it says one slot there, but they're only one slot each. And realistically, for most implements and things, you'll probably get away with one, some longer stuff, maybe tractors, vehicles, anything like that. You might want a couple. Um, I think that's brilliant. Options available on these. We can also change the main colour, so you can get them to suit or your whatever particular machinery you're running, or if you want them to stand out so you don't lose them in your yard or in the grass or something like that. You can do. Very cool indeed by Black Sheep Modding. I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to leave that last one till last. There's a very good reason for that. Over here. Bear with me one second. Now, remember earlier on I said the Galignani 5690 had had an update? That's this. This is a small baler. Um, now, it's had an update because this came out today to go with it. This is the Seren 08 by Game Master. I might have said Games Master earlier, but I mean, it's Game Master. Um, this is a, a loading platform, loading trailer, that goes with the Galignani, specifically. That's why this has had an update. Um, this is a cool bit of kit. I think it does eight bales, if I'm not mistaken. It does eight bales. A stacking machine to go with the 5690 S3 baler. Um, it looks really cool. I mean, if you want to do small bales, and it can be a bit of a pain collecting them up and that kind of thing. And we've got various different loading attachments and stuff now, clamps and claws and grabs and various different things, uh, which make the process of collecting batches of bales a lot easier. Um, this may be the thing you're looking for. This you will find under baling technology. And it's right there, the Lizard Seren 08, seven grand to buy. Uh, this will use three slots, which is next to nothing really. Um, and the baler itself, which came out a little while ago, is there, the 5690 S3 for 35 grand. Only requires 55 horsepower for the baler, so again, you can get away with some quite small machinery. So what we'll do is back up, hook up, it connects underneath, automatically puts the little connector in place. It will flop around a little bit, but don't worry about that. If I open it out into its operating position, he says. So I found the right one. There we go. Then we turn it on. Drop our pickup down. Oh, that's weird. Why has that done that? Oh, hang on. I was supposed to turn it on. There we go. That's better. How cool is that? Oh, does it unload automatically? <laughs> so L1, <laughs> that comes back up again, and away we go again. So L1 and triangle, like as if you're unloading a round baler. On any other given day, this would be the, you know, a, <laughs> the standalone mod that stands out for everything else. So L1 and triangle. Flaps down, they both go down like that. Off the end, fold itself back up again, and away we go. And like I say, with the various different attachments that are available now, you then come out with one of those, and you can pick those up in, in stacks of eight, put them onto a trailer. Saves manually, you know, loading them by hand and all that kind of thing. I love it, I think that's brilliant. I'm wondering if that will hook up to any other ones. We have got a few little small a few little small balers, small balers. But I think the fact that Galignani's had an update, it's been specifically for this. So I, I wouldn't have thought so, but I could be wrong on that. How cool is that? Fantastic. Anyway, so let's turn that off. That's awesome. Now it has dragged. On each one it's dragged a bale, hasn't it? Hmm. That could be because I'm doing it on plough ground, to be fair. I didn't have a field 
before when I've been doing my tests. So all I did was on the ploughed field I already had here, I just laid some straw out for doing baling and stuff, but it doesn't always work particularly nicely as, a, as somewhere to drop them down. It would normally be done on a field that had just been harvested, so probably not the best way of doing it. But um, there you go. Then you come and collect them up. Very cool indeed. Moving on with our mods for today. We've got these. Game changer. Um, but quite a specific game changer. I said recently on one of my Let's Plays, and I might have even done it on the mod review, saying about mods coming out. And what I like is when you get a day where something new comes out, something different, something that stands out from the crowd, this is that thing. This is the Browd, or Broad, 9000L by Black Eyes Modding. That is the DRL140N, also by Black Eyes Modding. The um, Ishia Geo, out today, is by Black Eyes Modding, as is Ishia Farm, the new map, by Black Eyes Modding. Now, on that map, <coughs> excuse me, you can grow and harvest grapes, which on console, we've never been able to do before. Um, I know on... Oh, I can't remember the name of the map. Doesn't matter. Uh, one of them had loads of extra crops. Now, Ishia Farm does have some extra crops, grapes being one of them, white and red grapes. Um, and this is the grape harvester that goes with it. Now, it's I can't really show you what it does here because we've got no grapes to actually show. But this is the harvester itself. That is the grape trailer, which is designed specifically to deal with grapes. So what we're going to do is have a look at the specs and look at them. And then I'm going to cut to this being used hopefully if all goes well um, so both these by black eyes modding uh, if we go into vehicles if you have it installed it will be under harvesters so the browd is 65,000 um, it will use six slots so not very heavy on the slot count options available 145 144 horsepower for the 9050l the 9070L 164 horsepower or the 9090L 182 horsepower you can have the wheel sta wheels standard or wide, and that's it. Those are your options. Now, I'll be honest, it's a bit plain, in so much as the actual textures themselves are a bit flat, and that's just honesty. I'm just looking at it. It's a new bit of kit. It's exciting. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely fantastic that we've got something new, a different piece of machinery that does something a bit different. Um, but just looking at it, you can you can see it's not kind of, you know, Everything's there that needs to be there. But the actual texture itself is a, is a little bit flat. That's all. That's, you know, it's worth pointing out. So, what we're going to do now is cut to this in action for the rest of the review. So, as promised, here we are on Ischia Farm on the map by Black Eyes Modding. And in front of us, we've got the Browd. 9090L, I've gone for the slightly large engine size. Um, over here, what I forgot to talk about um, was the uh, DRL. Um, the DRL 140N, which is the grape trailer, you'll find this under trailers. It's just there, 13,500 to buy. This will use two slots. Um, and as you can see on all the other trailers, it gives all the different things. This will do grapes. That's what it's designed for putting grapes into options available we can change the main color we can have it stainless or we can have it galvanized metal i do like the stainless but again that's your own personal choice and then rim color you can go for anything you want to suit whatever you happen to be going with uh, if you look on the side of this one of the hinges that's unloading mechanics left so it will tip to the left a little bit like the um sugarcane trailers if I do that to the right, it switches the hinges over so it will go to the right depending on which one you want to go for. So that's not something you can change on the fly. You'd have to go in and customise that to get that to work. So that's the DRL 140N trailer. So as far as this goes, I'm on PlayStation 4. That's what I'm on. This is no trick. This is not PC. This is, this is it. Now, as far as planting goes and all that kind of thing i don't know this is my first time on the map um, um i'm probably going to do a map tour but that'll be tomorrow so as far as planting goes harvesting or not harvesting but all the rest of it I've, i'm really not too sure but as far as this operation goes let's have a look so we'll jump in start it up horn Hang on, put that in here. Uh, lights on main 
they rear work lights? They are, but they're not very bright. In cab, really good visibility all round. I mean, it's amazing visibility round. Again, it's a little bit flat. The textures aren't necessarily there. But again, I don't know. I'm more excited by the fact we've got something new. So, unfolding this harvester, it kind of sits down on its haunches a little bit. L1 and X unfolds it. L1 and square turns it on. And then L1 and circle lowers it. Which barely imperceptible but it needs to be lowered for it to actually operate and then we drive forward onto here and so it begins now as you see as we go past each one the red grapes that are hanging underneath disappear now you don't have to be too precise there's no collision on the actual uh, grapevines that I've noticed so far but um, will this work on other maps no so before anyone asks this isn't a the grape thing, there's no planter that I can find anywhere for planting grapes. This is not something... It's a pity, it would be great if it came with a planter, so then you could then do vineyards on any map. That would be top-notch. But, as far as it goes, impressive stuff. So off we go. Now, I have tried hiring a worker, pressing circle, nothing happens. So this is a manual operation. But as soon as I hired a worker, it turned it off again. So I turn it back on again. Do I need to lower it again? lower into position and away we go so that's the he says there we go turning circle is pretty good we come off the end here they're designed to be because they're designed to do the rows so you do alternate rows pretty much so it will turn around to do an alternate row then when you get to the end you come back and you do all the other ones um, I think it's absolutely fantastic I love it so as you can see down the bottom right we are getting grapes. When I get to end this row, we'll unload. So I'll show it unloading. We've got the little belts moving on the top there. It is filling up. So what we'll do, we'll turn it off. Like so, so we'll turn the lights off. What we'll do, we'll swing it round. When we get to the trailer, we do pipe out. Pipe out. Now one and down on the D-pad, sorry. <laughs> Up it tips. Grapes pour out. It's so cool. So cool. Like I say, is it the most crisp, polished mod you've ever come across? No. But the fact it adds something fantastic for console players, I love it. Does it need to go another step further? I personally think so. That's my own personal opinion. I've left the indicator going. Um, simply because you can only do this on the Ishia Farm map at the moment for console. If Black Eyes Modern, if you're watching... <laughs> Bring out a planter, seed or whatever, for doing vineyards, and then that's it. You have nailed it. I mean, you've nailed it already. It's absolutely fantastic. So there you go. Um, that's it for the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>